What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech. Today I just want to show you the all new and improved Samsung DeX. Now this will work on Windows and Mac OS and the great thing about it is it's really been redefined, reimagined, and reinvented. This is how the experience should have been from the beginning in my opinion. So let's just take a look at it. You no longer need a USB-C to HDMI adapter. All you have to do is plug in your phone using the cable that it came with or a basic USB-A to USB-C cable that I'm sure you have lying around the house. Once you're connected to your PC or your Mac, you have to go to samsungdex.com to download the software so that it'll run properly on your machine. And once you do, it's going to look exactly like this, guys, and I think this is awesome. This is how it really should have been from the beginning. It's just super simple. You don't need to fiddle around with different cables and whatnot. You just plug in your phone with the cable that's already in your bag that you charge your phone with and I think it's just super super awesome but what's really good about it guys is you can just take any file from your computer and drag it right onto your Samsung DeX machine that's going to be the Note 10, the Note 10 Plus or the upcoming Samsung Tab S6 and hopefully at least this is my hope fingers crossed they're going to bring this to everyone else in the future as you saw I just transferred a screenshot and if you go to recent items you'll see that I have that transferred screenshot here from my PC dragged it directly over to my phone and then you can double click on it it's actionable and then you can edit it you can do whatever you need to do you can just double click on any of the files that you've transferred and you can edit them right from your machine and save it right back to the machine and by machine i'm talking about your note 10 plus or your note 10 and to me that's just really the way that samsung deck should have been the one limitation is that you cannot transfer files, at least not at the moment, from your phone back on over to your PC. It's a one-way transfer as of right now. The next thing I want to show you, and this is just going to be a quick overview if you want to check out all the decks. I did a video in the past that's pretty much the same thing. But you have down here, you have your toolbar. And as you see, I have quite a number of tabs open. So you can open up a bunch of tabs. If you click on decks, this is how you can lock your machine. So if you leave your phone connected and you leave your desk for whatever reason, you can just lock it and then you'll have to enter your code. You can unlock your phone, meaning unlock your DeX workstation when you get back. Here's all your apps. So you can see all the apps that are on your phone. Just keep in mind, not every app is DeX compatible. For example, things that have copyright issues like Netflix will just be blank. Same goes for Spotify. For whatever reason, you're not able to open up Spotify. So if I go over here and open up Spotify, it's going to tell me the same thing. Can't show protected content. So that's just one downside that I see. But that being said, you can watch YouTube. YouTube works absolutely perfectly. There's no problems with YouTube videos. Everything is super smooth with video playback. Again, this is the Note 10 Plus. It's a really powerful device. Next to that, if you click on this, this is sort of like your recents tab, so you can see everything that I've had open in the past. And yes, I was playing a little games. I'm going to get into that in a second. Clicking on the home button takes you right back. And then down here, you see all of your open tabs. So if I open up the browser, you can see that you have a fully functional browser here in full screen. And this is, again, something that I think makes you a little bit more productive. You have access to all your bookmarks. You have access to everything that you've been looking at right at the palm of your hands and then here's notes again you can see all of your notes that you've done on your note 10 plus here's photos so you have access to all of your photo gallery right over here and you can edit them right from your machine if you want to so i think that's really cool and it just gives you the ability to kind of change things how you want to a little bit easier since you have a mouse and a keyboard now the right side toolbar is where you see all your notifications. So clicking on this little reverse hamburger menu right here brings up everything that you have waiting for you. So if you click on, say for example, Google Play Store, it'll open this up and show you what I just downloaded. And if you want to clear all, here we go. You can just clear all your notifications just like that. The next tab over here shows you everything that's connected. So you see I have Bluetooth, I'm on LTE with my signal strength right over here as well as my battery and it is charging at the same time that it's connected clicking on the arrow brings up all your quick toggles just like this so it's really simple if you want to turn wi-fi on all you have to do is the same that you would on your phone just hit on that toggle and that opens it up the dex lab over here is pretty empty at the moment but you do want to enable force apps to resize this way you can get full screen goodness the keyboard and mouse that is already connected to your pc 
to your computer is automatically recognized so you can start using it right away without any extra settings. Games also played really well. I played PUBG, I played Asphalt 9. Anything that basically you can play on your Note 10, you're going to be able to play it within this Dex mode. And I think it was really cool because the keyboard was recognized as an input device right away without any extra steps. So you really don't have to go and do anything super complicated. Just connect your phone to your computer and you're good to go. You don't always have to have the Samsung DeX experience just within a window. You can also expand it to full screen. So if you hit on maximize, your whole computer screen will act as your DeX screen. And I think that's really nice. It just gives you a big screen to work with. This is as small as the Samsung DeX window can get. You can enlarge it just about any size that you want, but it cannot get any smaller than this. So say I'm just reading the news on the left side here, and then say a text message comes through. What I like about it is you're able to see the text message, you're able to hear the sound through your speakers, and then you can see you can quickly just hit a reply and say, hey, how are you, right from the little corner, right over there. Hit on enter, and that's gonna send it. The same goes if you get a call coming in, you see a little pop-up right over here so you can either accept or deny. So really that's been it. I just want to do a quick video to show you what it looks like. I'm really happy with this. I think this is the way it should have been from the beginning. But let me know down in the comments below if you use DeX, if you're a fan of it, or if you actually think it's a waste of time. I always like to know your opinion. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.